Uja, greetings. Uba Nefrinahast, good rising and great awakenings. Welcome to the Celestial Strengths for March 16th through March 22nd. And the most important thing going on this strength is happening March 19th at 10.49 p.m. Central Time, where we'll be experiencing the Spring Equinox, which is one of the four times of the year where the cardinal points of the Earth's orbit around the sun matches up with the uh, galactic cardinal points where we're lined up. And at the spring equinox, it's supposed to be a time when we have equal day and equal night. Although my uh, investigations have shown me that that may no longer be the case, that the equinox dates may have moved. But for now, we still observe them on around March 21st around uh, September 21st, it lasts three days. This year, the the midday is on March 19th, meaning the equinox is tonight, March 18th, tomorrow night, March 19th, and Friday night, March 20th. And um, in the Western system, this is known as the time for the sun moving into Aries, but in the 13 month sidereal system, the sun is in the sign of sidereal Pisces. At Hadoosculpts, we say Duara M Picotsai or M Nebihet because Pisces is ruled by Neptune, which we call uh, correspond with Nebihet. But before I get into the cosmic chimes and chanting for the strength, I wanted to just go over the transits. Now, some of you, this may be confusing. You could uh, rewind the video and write them down. I used to spend a lot of time with graphics with all the words going across, but that just made it really difficult to do editing and get it uploaded in a timely manner. Even now, um, well, because of coronavirus preparations, I am just now getting the um, video uploaded today. All right, so for the celestial strengths of March 16th through the 22nd, we had the third quarter moon on March 16th at 4.34 a.m. Chicago time. I already mentioned the spring equinox is Thursday, March 19th at 10.49 p.m. Central time. We have uh, Mercury, Jehuti, moves from sidereal Aquarius into sidereal Pisces on April 9th at uh, 6.46 p.m. Central. I'm just giving the transits for the whole next few strengths. And then each each particular strength, I'll go over the ones that um, have a transit. Uh, Nebenhet or, or uh, Neptune is in Sidereal Aquarius, all the strengths from March 16th through April 16th. Then we have Aset or Cetus, the asteroid is in Sidereal Capricorn, Hupeneus, moving into Sidereal Aquarius on April 8th. Mars is in Sidereal Sagittarius and moves into Sidereal Capricorn on March 30th at 10.50 a.m. Central. Saturn is also in Sidereal Sagittarius, moving into Sidereal Capricorn uh, during this strength on March 21st at 3.57 a.m. Central. So we have Saturn moving into Capricorn, which is where it's exalted. Fortunately for us, it is not retrograde. Then we have um, the asteroid Pallas Athena and the planets Jupiter and Pluto are all in Sidereal Sagittarius for the strengths of March 16th through April 16th. We have Sedna and Vesta in Sidereal Taurus for this, these strengths. Venus is in Sidereal Aries and moves into Sidereal Taurus on March 30th at 4.51 a.m. And Heru is in Sidereal Aries, this entire strength, March 16th through April 16th. And for the lunar transits, I'll go over them at the, um, the next portion of the video. All right, so we're going to start with, I saw equinox, the spring equinox, where the sun, or Ra, is in Sidereal Pisces which is ruled by Neptune. And in our chanting session, we call on Nebenhet. 
And then Chiron, which we connect with the energy of Imhotep, is also in Sidereal Pisces. So Ra deals with the creation, with our creativity, our creative forces. And also it deals with how we face the illusion because creation is an illusion. Neptune Pisces deals with how we express our feelings and emotions. Feelings are what comes up inside of us. Emotions are how we express them. So we want to remember to remain calm in adversities like right now and to um, practice our mental preparedness so that even if we forget our divinity, we're able to come right back as quickly as possible. And then Chiron is the wounded healer. Uh, Chiron was able to heal everyone in his community, all the gods and goddesses, except for himself. And so we've got to do better than that. We've got to be able to take care of ourselves before we take care of others. So. This is a gigantic call to action to deal with our self-care consistently and also to pay special attention to our emotions and our feelings during this, you know, it could be a potentially stressful time to not suppress our feelings, our emotions, and also to uh, release them carefully all right so that's the global prayer for the equinox to get in alignment with our self-care and express our emotions with ma'at you know to remember the cosmic mind and allow ourselves to express the cosmic mind the feelings from the cosmic mind not the feelings from our ego because that's what this battle is really about. It's conquering our fears and our doubts in our lower nature. Because that's what it is for me. This is a vibration to be able to tune in.
Another thing I was thinking about is um, Nebethet is the goddess of mortality, the goddess of our physicality. And um, I just feel it's very important for us to pay attention to our spirituality and our physicality and keep them in balance. We can be physically prepared with all of our groceries and herbs and teas and all the wonderful foods that we've got stockpiled. We've got to remember to be mentally prepared, emotionally prepared, and spiritually prepared. So amp up your spiritual practices and um, just keep on doing what you know you're supposed to be doing. Maybe it's time to do more of it. Okay, well that is the Celestial Strengths for March 16th through the 22nd. And I hope you have a wonderful spring equinox tomorrow with everything coming into alignment and um, just, you know, direct directing you in the right way and a wonderful, wonderful new experience, new cycle, new journey. With springtime, the weather is warming up. That's going to knock out whatever they're calling the coronavirus. We're going to focus on corona wellness with our mental and spiritual preparedness. A tap.